Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm back for another video. So, it is the Wednesday before Mother's Day and that means one thing and one thing only. Mother's Day is my very first race, so I'm preparing for all eventualities. So I'm starting to pack my bags and get ready for race weekend. So I am doing the Tidal Trail 10K. And for those of you who don't know what kilometers are, that would be a 6.2 miler. So first things first, my Tidal Trail hat. And you're asking probably where you could put your race number? Well, since the Tidal Trail and Maritime Race Weekend our sister races, I am going to use my Maritime Race Weekend number holder. And you guys are probably wondering what this little creature is. This little creature is my good luck charm. Slow and steady wins the race. He's been with me since 2014, since the spring of 2014. So of course, my hat, my race number holder, and my good luck charm. So I'm going to hold this in my hand for a reason. And I am going to pick, based on my outfit, what? Retractable handkerchief, better known as a Yankee sports handkerchief. Yankee! I'm going to pick either the purple the pink, or the mint. Now, based on what I could see down below, and I'll show you momentarily, I'm having a sneaking suspicion it is either going to be pink or purple. But there is my very first Yankee, which is kind of really worn out. Um, kind of well used that I may use only for the simple fact that I am going to be running on a gravel trail. So I've made my decision it's going to be pink and it is going to be my original Yankee, not any of my newer ones. So quickly as I go, just unclip the kilt pin here. Your fingers never do what you need them to do right away. So that took me a couple of seconds, but it is ready to go. Um, my backpack's right there, so I'm just gonna toss stuff on it. So I'm tossing these out of the way, but this is my collection of Yankees, and no, I'm not sponsored by Yankee. I just happen to know the guy who, who started the company and who owns the company, and really appreciate his product. And any of these um, races or anything that I may mention, I am not sponsored, but I do run them or I do appreciate the merchandise. So the next thing is, um, and I don't know what the miles are on this, but I ran in 2018 this exact race in... 50 to 60 kilometer per hour winds. I think that's around 30 to 35 miles per hour, possibly. I'm just trying to think of the conversion and I can't right on the spot here, but I am bringing my running room jacket, um, which is a good windbreaker. This got me a personal best last year. Yeah, and my sheer determination and literally running like this into the wind. So that's going in the pile. Um, according to the race director, we are going to have some slight winds, but not much. So it is going to actually be very warm on the trail, possibly. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a two-in-one here. And I am taking a long sleeve shirt, which I know I can always pull up the arms if I'm feeling hot. 
And just in case the wind is kind of cold, which it can be at this time of year, it is dark blue. So that's my shirt. So the last thing before I get to one more item that's pretty awesome for running longer distances is I am now deciding on a gym pant or my um, running tights, my leggings. These are actually yoga pants, more specifically, now that I look at them. So just in case I feel cold, I'm taking two options, the three quarter option and the full length. So you guys are wondering about socks and I have actually not decided whether I am going to do my compression socks or not. So what I do is for 10K and longer, I usually do compression socks, but I'm not 100% sure I want to. So you won't be able to see the socks, but no, I will have socks and my running shoes as well. So um, that's basically kind of just the basics. And there's one item in my pocket that I am a huge fan of because this is called Body Glide or Glide. Now, what Glide does is because I do get a lot of blisters and a lot of irritation on my feet during a longer run, 10K and longer. This is a miracle. Looks like a deodorant stick for your feet. And basically what it does, it helps by grabbing the moisture and not necessarily leaving it on your foot for it to be able to chafe or rub or get blisters. This is the miracle product. It's called Glide. And if you get the larger size, like I have here, I'm just trying to see what the size, oh, 42 grams. So if you get the larger size, it actually lasts a lot longer depending on how you use it. And if you use it often, it's still worth it. But yeah, I got this particular one two years ago and see I only do five races a year but I do a lot of hiking as well so that's a very awesome product it's called glide or body glide so hit up your local sports store or running store um, I know in the US a lot of major retailers have it so I strongly suggest it so that's going in the bag too so this is just a little glimpse into some preparation for race day. And as we get closer and perhaps maybe at another race, I'll be able to tell you exactly what I do maybe 24 hours before or even the morning of. So have an amazing day, everybody. And for those of you who want to get out there, do so. Have an amazing day.